Hello there and welcome to the Fiber and Paper video review of the Kiki K Planner in Berry. And I had already posted actually a gallery uh, of the photos that I took um, and I thought maybe you would like to see it in action, so to speak. My name is Belinda and I'm going to go ahead and take you through my newest <laughs> obsession. Um, which are planners um, and this is something that I had always seen on Pinterest and the minute I saw that they come out with new colors because I'm I like mint but I wanted I'm a fan of red so when I saw that they had this color and it's not I don't know reds are really 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 hard to pick up with cameras so um, just to give you a little bit of an a description of the color it's not really red this is almost like a very very dark pink yeah rather than a red than a true red so um, I know the mint planners um, that were very very popular had that elastic band going over but this one has the snap closure yeah and I guess this I don't really have any kind of point of comparison, so I can't tell you whether or not I would have preferred the band or not. Um, I do find this perhaps more secure. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, but that that's something that um, I have. Like I said, I don't have any way to compare that. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the planner before I tell you what I did with it. Um, the thing, like I said in my previous post, my review post, is that the things that bothered me the most about this planner were the issues with the quality, and we'll go through that. Um, but first, let me go ahead and introduce you to the sections and so on. So when you open it up, the first thing you'll see are, is that inside cover that has the top pocket up here. Yeah, then the little today pad that came with the planner and then three little slots for cards. Then you have a flap here for putting in stuff that you need to easily access. Then a much more secure pocket with a zip, I guess, for your valuable items. And then another uh, slip in pocket. And that is currently empty because I have absolutely no idea what to do with it. Um, so, and as you can see, this is the standard six ring closure system that I guess Filofax uses too. And many people, in, when I did my research, many people have said that the uh, holes all line up. So you could use, uh, technically you could use the planner inserts for the Filofax as well uh, in here. If you're not a fan of the inserts from Kiki K, which I actually have read not many people are anyway so this came without a fly leaf so i made one out of a simple page protector i cut it down to a4 uh, a5 size and then i went ahead and i punched it i don't have a six hole punch so this was really a very i'm gonna get one um, but this was really not that difficult you just i made some kind of uh, template and then i just lined it up yeah i'm not really using it for anything and actually um, I just wanted to show you what I did with them, but I do not use them, so I'm going to take them off actually now. Um, on the fly leaf, I decorated the edge with, with a little bit of washi just because I um, wanted it not to look so blank and so that I know where to grab because it's see-through. I have like little tab markers from Smash, if I'm not mistaken. They came, there was like a set and there are like seven different designs and then the standard post-it note. And then on the first tab, I've gone ahead and I've put in little photo corners. The, the, there was a photo of my daughter in here, which I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to show you how that goes in there. Um, it came in some kind of adhesive set. And those are just normal photo corners out of paper. And you just go ahead and you stick your photos in and that's it. So these little flag tags or, or tabs um, were also from Smash, and the only problem that I have, they're very cute, yeah, there's no disputing that, they're very cute, which is why I bought them, as well as these little tabs here. My only complaint is, is that they're not sticky. 
Well, they are sticky, but once you actually take them off the actual pad and stick them somewhere, they fall off. It's like they used up all of their adhesive by sticking onto the, the actual pad itself, and then by the time you actually want to use it, they are no longer adhesive, which kind of defeats the purpose of having an adhesive tab. Right. So, um, without showing you my information, on the inside of, uh, of this divider, I've gone ahead and I've stuck in a 2014 calendar because uh, the Kiki K inserts did not come with that. So I went ahead and I just cut one out of a calendar that I wasn't using and put it in there. Then of course the facing page, which I'm not going to show you, has uh, the place for all of the personal information. Yeah. So the way this is set up, and I'm going to remove you from being on my tripod. The way this is set up is that it is two pages per month and you fill this in yourself, which is really, really cool because I bought this uh, recently. So had I had a calendar system that it was already filled in, I would have wasted um, four months worth of, of month monthly pages. So this works really well. Um, I use this basically to document my hours that I work. I'm a teacher and um, yeah, just to have an overview of the whole month. Yeah. And then there's like a little section on the side um, where I write in yeah, the notes for the month. Yeah, I don't actually, I'm not a really big decorator. I think I've mentioned this before. I'm not a really, really big decorator of my planner because I find it really distracting because I have so many dates to remember. I really don't want to have stickers of cute animals all over my my pages. Um, this is not to say that I don't find that adorable. I think that works for other people. It just doesn't work for me. And I had started here, well, I have plans to start as of May, uh, a color coding system because um, I had found it a little bit difficult to go through this with some kind of idea of what was going on without being able to see what color coding um, I had because actually this isn't color coded at all. So, so that is the calendar for, that is the first section, the calendar section. So let's go ahead and look at the next section. And if I turn the planner for you, you can have a look at all of the tabs. Yeah, there were four that were already pre-printed and um, I'm not gonna go ahead and lift the stickers off and I'll tell you why in a moment. Um, basically the pre-printed tabs, I didn't need them. I think one was meetings or something like that and I don't actually have meetings, I just have classes. So um, I went ahead and I put there, there's a planning section or planning sticker that I put on there instead. And uh, I use that for my lesson planning. And then of course the to do, the personal work, and then labels, tags, and stickers, and then my blog planner is right at the end. So if you'll notice here at the top, I have little plastic dividers as well that I made on my own because every I, I need um, a bookmark for every single section so that I can jump directly to the current page within that section and not just to jump to the section. And um, actually I'll go ahead and announce that I'll do um, a little mini tutorial on how I made them and I'll just show them to you in a, right here. Oh, I printed these out because I didn't, they didn't come with the Kiki K planner. I wanted a weekly overview of uh, my appointments and stuff like that where I had actually a little bit more space to write stuff. So I'll go ahead and put in the description below where I got that from. It's a free printable. So in every single section, um, there was a little pack of this note paper that came with um, the planner. And so there's enough, there, there are enough pages for you to write before having to insert your own. So let's go to the next. I have my lesson plan section and uh, this is what it looks like. And then I'll go ahead and show you the little 
bookmark from here and then the tab at the top says which i i've used the sticker from the um the set that came with it current lesson plan and basically i'll go somewhere where you can have a little bit more contrast this is though these are those little plastic um pages that i got with some kind of scrapbook set that i never ended up using and so i just cut them down and i ended up getting a bunch of them out of it um, so instead of just having the plastic pages just sit around and not be used um, I made little bookmarks out of them I just covered it in washi tape first um, because I wanted it to match the washi tape from the fly leaf and then I put the the, the tab sticker on there yeah and then I just went ahead and I hole punched it and I did the same thing here that I did with my with my homemade um, planner my down by the shore planner instead of having it closed because I really move this every day I didn't want to have to keep opening the ring closures in in the in the planner to get these out so I just went ahead and I cut them just down the middle so that they would just basically snap in and snap out of place. And the plastic quality is really, really good. Like they're thick, so I don't have to worry about them breaking or whatever. Yeah, so that was this section. Then there's the to-do section. And this is what the to-do section page, these are what the pages look like in there. Um, <clears throat> the thing that I miss, of course, is, I mean, I think this is great. It's broken into two columns, but I really miss that there's some kind of checkbox. However, I guess it would just be really easy for myself just to either draw circles or squares to, to use as a checkbox. Um, that was, I guess maybe that's why they left it open in case you don't have that, um, that system where you fill in the circle or cross it out or whatever. I'm starting to do, I can't, I can't remember what that's called. Anyway, that's what I'm using. Um, so those were that came with this section, and then the personal section. Um, this is also just I don't know what I actually have planned for this, but uh, there it is. Then my work section. Remember, I said that I didn't actually need a whole section on meetings because I don't actually have them. I well, I do. I had just have like three meetings per year, yeah, to discuss uh, my classes, and so I kept the paper. And I put it under work so that it would just be more flexible and not a whole section just of meetings. Yeah, because I have other stuff that I need to do for work that aren't unrelated to my um, my class plans. So this works well back here. And then, of course, I had like the, I have the sticker and then I put it over. So I have a section for labels, tabs, and whatever separately because I just didn't want them either in the back or the front or in a pocket or whatever. So I have like the little arrow stickers or tabs to mark my work or mark I use these actually in um, my textbooks so that I know what I want to use for my classes and I also put that on one of those little plastic things you know the I made my own little dividers it's also a little bit of a washi tape strip there so these are the stickers that came with a planner and they've been they're they're basically all the same except they are pre-printed with other words and the color scheme is different that's the only difference between the three sheets that came with them although I find them very cute and I have found use for them my main complaint is is by the time I take them off here and stick them down on the on the uh, on the dividers if I have a problem with the alignment and I want to take them off again and stick them back down the adhesive is done that basically means I can throw that tab away otherwise they end up lifting at the corners and fall off I'm really really a, a little bit disappointed with that um, I mean I can still use them but I'd have to actually add my own adhesive it could also be a problem with the fact that the dividers themselves are glossy and they have a very very slick surface so there's really not too much for the stickers to adhere to anyway that could be something that um, I might end up changing um, by my own cardstock sort of in the same color scheme as they have here and then just um, see how the tabs work when the the paper is a little bit more porous i can imagine that might work actually quite well <clears throat> um here's my famous pen test 
um, whenever I buy a new notebook or whatever, I uh, enjoy doing pen tests just to see what kind of paper quality I'm up against whenever I, uh, you know, want to write something. It makes a lot of sense for me to test the pages first because if I have the problem where everything, every single pen that I use bleeds through, mm, I can't use the paper or the notebook. So. Um, I, like I said, I've never owned a Filofax, so I cannot say whether or not um, I prefer this paper over the Filofax insert papers. And, uh, but I did test them with another notebook in my blog. You can go ahead and check that out too. I'll put a link below. Um, I had, I bought some, a notebook set. And as you can see, Please keep in mind I have lighting coming through the, the window in the back so maybe it looks a little bit more bleed through than so let me just go ahead and put my hand there but still um, the quality of this paper in comparison to that notebook that I did a review on this is much poorer quality or at least the pages are thinner so you can definitely see that um, the pen is coming through the page which bothers me because that basically means depending on which pen I use I would not be able then to use the back side of the paper. So um, right at the back, we've made it right at the back. Remember I did that uh, little project with a, with a little slip bucket. This is it. Basically just a folded up piece of card um, that I upcycled. Um, in order to make something of it instead of just throwing away the band that came with it and plus like this is cute um yeah the thing was is if you look here because i have this in a backpack the edges were being really really <laughs> they were being a little bit uh roughened up by my daily use and so i have found that having the slip pocket on there has greatly reduced um, the damage to the underside of the pad. So going back now and, and, and having a look at my first two weeks with the planner, I'm going to go ahead and take this out because I have something to show you. Let's talk about the stuff that um, has worked for me until now and, and or the things that have not worked for me. <clears throat> I really think it's very nice. Oh, please explain ignore the band I was using it as a as a lift kit for my filming um, like I said the thing that concerned me a little bit was the overall quality and finishing of the planner um, and I'm not the only one after having like I said researched blogs and stuff like that. I'm not the only one that has some reservations about the quality and finishing of the Kiki K planner, which is a shame because it's actually really pretty. Um, if I go ahead and, and, and zoom in here and turn a little bit, excuse me, you can see that there's like some kind of ridge that runs the full length of the spine. And I obviously this is really difficult for you because you're not able to actually feel it. However, if you look here, you can see that this section is smooth. And then there's like this huge crease in the fabric. It's not actually the fabric that's the problem. The piece of, of card that they have between the layer of leather and the layer of fabric seems to have somehow become damaged. And by damaged, I mean that it's just, it's not that it's just, you know, somehow a little bit dented or whatever. It just seems to have some kind of damage that's causing this puckering. And it wouldn't bother me so much had it been in the back, but because it's directly here in the front and I have to see it every single time I open my planner, it bothers me. Um, I, another video that I had watched had mentioned that the that after two weeks the 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 join of her of her ring closures were a little bit loose. Um, I can't really say anything about that after having used this for two weeks because I don't really open and close them. Um, the zip was something that I was a little bit concerned about because it feels like when I try and unzip this here, like it just feels a little bit flimsy. I'm not really sure. There's not a very good quality zip. Like you can feel it like dragging. 
and I and, and the problem will be that if it does end up breaking or whatever this is going to be absolutely impossible to replace with a better zip um, because this is sewn into the leather um, and little little things you know like they don't think that I guess they don't think that people are going to check this but I did if you look into the back pocket here where the notepad goes if you look very closely there's a rip in the lining and I I just and you can see that there's just a little, the card just just a layer of cardboard between everything I think this is even if I paid a cheaper price for it I personally when you send off a, a, a product to someone and you're supposed to pay a certain amount and you pay a certain amount of money for it I don't think that should be there but this is just an opinion um, and I don't have to look at it every day so it just does it visually doesn't bother me however I just think that it's worth mentioning um, the pen loop did go uh, I think I mentioned in my first uh, video that I was concerned about how tight the elastic is here uh, for the pen loop um, but it has become a little bit looser so that's not such a big issue anymore and that is basically the Kiki K planner thank you so much for watching and um, please go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up with my latest projects and uh, I appreciate you stopping by